Hey viewers and welcome to this video. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be playing this game. It's called Nosgoth. Um, and I was going to say welcome to the first episode of this series, but I don't know if I'm going to make this a series. Um, but I'm going to record this episode and maybe some more if I feel like it. We'll see. Um, so yeah, this game's called Nosgoth. Um, <clears throat> it's in closed beta right now. And as you can see, the open beta uh, is coming this winter. Um, and it will be free to play, but I paid a founder's fee, basically, uh, so I could get some early access to it. And um, <clears throat> it's pretty fun. It's humans versus vampires, and there's different classes, different game modes and stuff. I don't have all the classes unlocked, but I do have a couple. So we're going to go ahead and play. Uh, I'm level 10. I got the Warband Founders Pack, which was like $20 because it was like 50% off or something. Um, and this here on the left side there, the new recruit 4v4, I can no longer play that because that was only for um, players level 10 and under. So there's Siege, which is like team objectives and deathmatch. And I think we're gonna start with deathmatch because uh, it's the easiest one probably and probably the fastest one of the two. Um, and just for the first episode, I'll, uh, I'll stick with this. So as you can see, we have different um, different little icons to the right of our names there and i have the I, I don't know most prestigious founders pack here right now i think um the gray one is just the normal founders pack the red one is the warlord founders pack and then the green one that i have is the warband and the only one higher than that than what i have is the immortals founder pack and all it is basically is you're giving the company money to build the game. That's that's what it is. And I think this game is really fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, so these are the humans. We're playing as the humans first. And I have three different classes. This is a fully automatic uh, crossbow, a grenade launcher, and kind of a sniper rifle. And I think I'm going to start with the hunter and then... I will switch this around as I go. Now, I actually have a special crossbow equipped on this one. Uh, I think. I think this is a special one. Um, because I, I bought some stuff in the store, which you use in-game money to buy. And uh, I got this like special crossbow. You get certain weapons and stuff that can only be used for like 30 days. Now, I haven't played Oh, in a little while, so it'll be interesting to see how I do here. Um, provided I don't forget any of the controls here. Nope. Someone's in here. Where did that guy go? I should have gotten an assist bonus for that. Uh oh. So, Q and F are my special abilities. Um, it appears that I've got a whip, and then F is pretty much just explosive arrows. It's a little short burst grenade launcher. Um. Humans gain health. Whoa. Humans gain health by using these stations here. Um, and that gives me health and ammo. Whereas uh, vampires gain health by drinking blood of their victims. I really want to kill this guy. Vampires are also, like, incidentally masters of parkour. They can jump. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, and melee. They are also melee only. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So he picked me up and damaged me. That's one of their special abilities. Oh, dang it. So I haven't gotten any kills yet. <laughs> um, I've had three cysts, though. Uh, let's... Oh, crap. I'm here for you. I was going to say, let's switch classes. Uh, I'll switch it next time. <clears throat> next death. 
Uh, I really like the scout. I don't know why. But I do. Man, this one's not very accurate. Oh, come on. There we go. There's a kill. Oh no, so that's a pounce move. And I'm pretty much screwed on that when, when I'm hit. Um, there's nothing I can do until either the move finishes or my te teammates help me. Uh-oh, who's invisible? Oh no. I'm not sure if you can kill yourself. Yes, you can, so you can damage yourself. With that experiment. Okay, let's go to loadouts and I'll go with the alchemist. I must free this town from the so this chick is a got a grenade launcher. Oh, I got the sticky grenades going. Seem to be lagging a little bit. Nothing too too bad though. All right, so they're, they're running around there. So this one's special abilities is a firewall. Which you'll see here as I throw this down. So that'll, that'll burn them uh, and keep them away from you, which is good. And then the other thing is basically it's a, it's a flash grenade. Give me light. Oh, nice. Okay. Now these ones that are flying around here are a little intimidating. Uh, especially for this class because this one's not a good class for accuracy. It's bombard stuff and hope you get a hit, really. Now you can't hurt yourself with the fire. I, got one. I do know that. Um, and there's no way to re revive teammates, I don't believe. Oh, hello. I oh no! I think I actually preferred... Uh, uh oh. The grenades that bounce as opposed to the ones that stick here. Uh, so I could change that. Next time I die, I'll probably switch scout to scout though. Oh, I got stuck to him. Oh no, am I out of freaking ammo? Or did I just not reload? Oh, well, let's see. So this, yeah, this viscous, so it sticks. What else have I got? Hand cannon and hand, other hand cannon. Let's try this. Uh, how many do I have? I only have two, so we'll try that one. For my light will cast out the shadow. So these weapons also give different, uh, like, movement and health bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, I think this one's a little faster moving, but it might be, like, less dodge uh, distance or time between dodges, stuff like that. I, I don't remember. I didn't look at the thing very well, but that's what it is. It does stuff. And I can only use this for 30 days. I don't know how, how much time I have left on it, but I've had it for a few days now. Yeah, so I definitely like it better when they roll. Uh, it could have like increased clip size as well. And every character has a thousand health, or around there, anyways. Um, and so every time you get a, you do a thousand damage, you get. A, a bonus uh, because it is kind this of like getting a kill them dead. just you don't get a kill um, yeah I think I'm gonna switch to the scout shortly here ooh that's not great
Yeah, I'm just chilling in the corner. Oh, of course. Oh, thank you. We need health and ammo here. Oh! I almost had it. So close. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the scout. This guy has got a really sweet ability. I'm ready. Secondary ability is amazing. I really like it. And yeah, so this guy's shot charges up. Oh. Oh my god. So that's it. You can call down an arrow volley. I hurt myself too. Um, I don't even think I did that much to him, but. This one is also fully. Out well, yeah, it's fully automatic. It just doesn't do nearly as much damage as uh, your charge shots do. I think it does roughly the same as the crossbowman, but the crossbowman, uh, he's got a higher rate of fire. Archers. Oh. And, yeah, there you go. Oh, where did he go? Uh oh. I gotta find. Oh no! Oh, come on, I used my throwing knives. Throwing knives are supposed to slow them down, I guess, like Assassin's Creed. But uh, apparently not today. I don't know if I'm going to get in. Time to kill no, I don't think so. Alright, so now we're going to play as the vampires. Which will be interesting to see how that goes. That was not great. <clears throat> that was not a great round for me. Not going to lie. Each class has their own levels. Um, so let's do the Reaver. The Reaver is the one with the pounce. He's faster. The Tyrant is the big strong guy, and I only have two Vampire classes unlocked right now. But yeah, these ones are faster, and they can... Uh, they're always sprinting. Let the hunt um, whereas with these big guys, like what this guy's got, you've got a... You've got to sprint separately. Um, so this guy's much faster. And as you can see here... Vampires are like the masters of parkour. Uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, so I don't have the pounce ability right now. I have the sweeping kick on. Okay, gotta remember that, because that, that could hurt me if I'm not paying attention. So that's a smoke grenade. It's not gonna do anything, apparently. Uh, if I press F here. Oh God. If I press F, I become invincible, but I become unable to, uh, oh, okay, he's going to eat it. I become unable to attack or anything like that. Um, now I wonder if you can break those, because that'd be kind of neat. All right. Now, one thing you can't do is you can't climb horizontally along walls, which is too bad. Um... Because there are definitely times where that would be useful to be able to do. Oh, hello. And you can charge up your attacks like that too. And now I'm, so that means that I'm invincible. Um, but it would be great. Oh, hello. If I could get some health back. Just like that. Oh, I tried. Oh no! Oh, I was so close. 
I was trying to get some health back there. I almost did. See, are we still orange or not? I don't know. I got two, two kills. So that's okay. Oh yeah, I gotta switch to my, so I have my pounce ability. Cause that is definitely an asset uh, from, from a distance and stuff like that. <clears throat> now, yeah, there's someone. Uh oh. Don't look behind you right now or anything. Please. Yeah, so that, that just does a good amount of damage in one go. Oh, I tried. I was I was effing it up. Try to get my invincibility going there. Now, the other thing too is if the area is not safe to execute a player or to drink their blood, you can pick them up and run away with them, which I like doing down. sometimes. Um, oh, there's someone. Oh. So close. I was watching my health and I thought, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Okay, let's go with this first one. We'll see what what kind of damage we can do. So this is, yes, this is your the default class. And you, people get different kinds of pounds. There's a super pounds with no uh, aiming reticle, which I feel like would be a lot better because it, it can't be that hard to aim and stuff, right? Oh, oh my god, that was fast. So, I didn't know this, but if you try to execute a player and you get hit, it stops you. Um, so I should, yeah, I should have grabbed him and ran. That's fine. I think those ropes are for scouts uh, to be able to climb and get up on the rooftops. Oh, there's some people. Nice. I'm trying to kick them. Okay, give me. I'm not even hurting that bad, but. Now, I feel like it would be really beneficial if you could see through that a lot easier. Let's get a rip here. Oh no. So now I can see here is me grabbing them, running away. I don't think you can climb with them. No, you can't. But then you can bring them to a safer place, get some health back. It's great. You can also use that ability to jump gaps. Whoops. Let me do that. Um. The one thing that I did find weird is that you don't actually jump. There's no jump button in this game. You just hold shift. So as humans, you can't jump at all. You can dive, but you can't jump. Um, and it leads to some awkward... Like, sometimes you want to go somewhere and you, you just can't do it. It doesn't let you. Oh, nice try, though. Alright, and we might as well top up on our health here. No one else is nearby, so why not? Uh oh, I missed. Oh, are they gonna be stuck? Come on, come on! Nice. Okay, so he's taking it. Uh, I'm in a bad way right now. There we go. Get a hit anyways. No. So you definitely need to work with your teammates to be able to do that, because that's rough. I don't know if we're losing or not. I feel like we might be. Death will teach them. No, we're winning. So there's gonna probably be some kind of overtime. Now I know 
the rounds in this game are, are a little longer than normal multiplayer games, <laughs> per se. But, uh oh, just swing like crazy. Nice. Get it, uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. That's not good. Okay, quick snack here. Perfect. Vampires also have um, idle regeneration. Uh, so if you're out of combat long enough, it will regenerate on its own. Gotta watch this. Yeah, that's dangerous. Let's go. Take him out. Oh! Well, I got the thousand damage there, so that's good. Three thousand damage and only one kill. Man, I gotta be jacked up on the friggin'. There we go. Okay, so it does a total. So that's good. That was good. We won. And I did not that bad at that time. Got second. I didn't get to play as the tyrant, but if I do another episode of this, I will be sure to do that. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if this game looks like something you want to buy, it's on Steam right now. Uh, it does become free to play in a couple months. Uh, but if you want to get in on it right now, you got to buy it. You got to pay for it. It's not too expensive. Um, I also, with the pack that I bought, I got two beta codes. Um, so if anyone is interested in getting a beta code, comment down below and maybe I'll do some kind of giveaway uh, if I decide if I don't decide to give it to my friends. So other than that, thanks for watching guys. Click the annotation in the top right to watch the next episode if I decide to do one. Till next time I'm Muck. Peace off.